Well, good afternoon, sunshine. Hello, love. <laughs> We're just going to start, um, it's going to be just really simple. I'm okay. not going to bombard you with a bunch of different questions. Um, but I just want to just get a little bit of basis. Um, and let's just start by asking, who are you? Well, my name is Erica Jo Johnson. I am from Seattle, Washington. I currently live in Chicago. I've been there 20 years. I am the owner of Shine Nail Lab. So um, who I am as a person, I'm very passionate and driven. Um, I've been in the nail industry well over 20 years and I'm at the point in my career now where um, I've started giving back you know, to the community and it's opening so many doors and possibilities and I'm really excited about the future. Could you just elaborate um, a little bit more and explain what, what is Shine Labs? So and how did you get started? Okay, so um, you know, in 2020, COVID affected everyone's lives. You know, I was not excluded. So um, I had a partnership with a salon, and the salon closed down. I had a nail salon. We had a shared space, so I had a nail salon. Mm -hmm. um, we I, I occupied the front space of the hair salon. So I had a staff of um, about five people, and myself and when COVID came, um, we were not able to keep the salon, so we closed down. So I went home to do nails, and I loved it. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't have to manage people. I was by myself, um, and I realized I had kind of gotten away from catering to my clients in the way that I wanted to because I had the responsibility of making sure everybody else was doing what they were supposed to be doing. So um, I was able to cater to my clients, you know, give them a more personal experience, which is something that I've always wanted to do or always tried to do. Um, but then my mom got tired of me being at home doing nails, so I had to go. Um, so, um, what type of services do you offer? Um, manicures, pedicures, gels, acrylics. I do lashes, brows. Yeah, I do pretty much everything. That's a full scale. Yeah. Yep. So what is the lab? So the lab was created, one, because I had to get out the house because my mom was tired of my clients coming in and out, which, you know, during COVID, rightfully so. Um, so I decided to rent a little space that I really didn't want to. My friend has a hair salon and this place is like next door to hers and she always wanted me to get it. Like she's been in her space for like six years. I never wanted it because it was like way in the back, like a little, oh my God, awful looking place. And I was like, God, no. So during, <laughs> during, during COVID, you know, I was like kind of considering it. And I was like, maybe I will take that place. And I was like, but my name is Shine. You know, I'm supposed to be in the front, you know? I'm not supposed to be in the back. Mm -hmm. And God said, light can only shine in the darkness. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm going to take that place. <laughs> so that's actually what made me take that place. So I went in um, and um, got construction and started right away. Um, and the, the lab really developed into what it wanted to be just by me listening to the voice of God and and really looking at God for direction on what I was supposed to do next mm -hmm. because I really, you know, wasn't clear and I knew I had to really rely on on his direction to really move forward. So, um, what are your future plans for the lab? So, well, well, let me go back to what the lab is because mm -hmm. I even got started on okay. that because there's so many things, right? So, during COVID, I was getting so many phone calls of people wanting to support black business because at that time that was like right right around you know george floyd yep. and a lot of black people wanted to stop patronizing um asian nail salons yeah. in our community it was an awakening yeah so a lot and so that was the one thing a lot of black people decided that they could do to you know support black business was to go to black nail techs so I was getting so many calls, I was like really overwhelmed to where I stopped answering my phone mm -hmm. because I don't like telling people no. So I said, I'm not gonna answer my phone until I can figure out a way to tell people yes. 
So I came up with a plan on, I said I was gonna train nail techs and I was gonna put them in different salons across the city because I no longer had a nail salon. Mm -hmm. So now I have a virtual nail salon. So now I work as a um, support system for other nail techs to help them market their business. And not only that, I offer classes and workshops. So that's part of what the lab is too. So I offer classes and I offer workshops. And so what came from that um, uh, was a lot of moms always ask me, like, how old um, does my kid have to be to wear a full set of nails? So I always say, you know, maybe like 14, 15. But then I, I started thinking like, well, what about the eight-year-olds that want to wear nails, you know? So I decided to create a press-on class for kids ages eight and up, where wow. they actually come into the lab. Uh, I show them from start to finish how to make their own press-on nails. I teach them um, at least four of my very own signature um, nail art designs. And they leave um, with their own set of press-on nails that they've made. And um, they also leave with a, a sense of accomplishment because they've done something that they didn't think that they could do. Not only that, it actually um, gives them an avenue into entrepreneurship because they can make their own press on nails. They can actually sell them. You know, they can set up an online store if they want to. So, what ages do you cater to? Eight and up for eight the uh, for the full set class. Yep. What inspired you to do that? Um, just a need, a need. Um, mothers asking me, you know, how old, how old do you think she should be to wear a set of nails? And then I would see the disappointment, you know, in the kid's face, like, you know, I had to wait, you know. But so I, that's how I came up with it. It's mm -hmm. a great idea. Yeah. Well, moving forward, where do you see Shine Lab going? So moving forward, I see not only um, Shine Nail Lab being a total support system for beginning nail techs, new nail techs, veteran nail techs. Um, you don't even have to be a nail tech. You could just love art, you know, and use nail art as a creative outlet, um, as a creative outlet for children. I see um, the lab being created um, somewhat like a Build-A-Bear or an American Girl store where you can go in, you can pick your tip size, you pick your colors you want, you pick your elements, and you have a space there to create a, a set of nails that you want, or you can take it home with you. I've also um, created a gift box that's similar to that, where I put everything in it. It's called My First Full Set. It's a gift box um, that contains everything in it that you need to make your own press on nails at home. And, and I mean, this is stuff that real nail techs, you know, probably don't yeah. even use, you know. And that's another thing I believe. I really believe in setting people up with the tools they need to succeed because I am an active working nail test. I still have nail clients that I do because I love doing nails. But um, everything that I put in the kit, everything that I supply in my classes are tools that um, are real life tools that will help you really succeed in the nail industry or you know, in arts and crafts or whatever you want to do. A lot of schools, like, they don't give you the proper tools you need. You know, they're just mm -hmm. interested in um, in you being able to pass a test because that makes them look good because you pass a test. Yeah. But a lot of people are leaving schools without any real working knowledge of how to do a proper manicure. So when your students leave the Shine Lab, what do you want to make sure they walk out of the door with? Well, number one, they walk out with confidence. They, they, they realize that they can do something that they didn't think they could do. So to me, that's enough. You know, that's, that's like the core of what I teach is that here's something that you thought you couldn't do, but that you can actually achieve. And it doesn't take a lot of time because I'm actually giving them a shortcut. I'm giving them tricks of the trade. You know, well, most people maybe would take 20 years. I can teach you in a day. Now, what makes, what do you think makes you stand out most i know that you have superb customer service mm -hmm. what do you think that makes you and your teaching stand out most um i think that's like probably the main thing and the reason why i say that is because um i took a poll i asked my clients i was like you know why do you come to me mm -hmm. you know because i was trying to figure out my next move you know mm -hmm. what am i about to do 
and 100% of them said customer service. Now, I know I could do nails, you know, but all of them said customer service. There's a great need for customer service, especially in the African-American community concerning nail salons specifically. And you're training that to your students. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Awesome. Now, what would be some words of encouragement that you want to leave people with today? Um, mostly, I would say, if you want to shine, if you want to stand out, all you really have to do, and people really tell you this, but it is the honest truth. Shine means beauty that comes from within. And through my journey in life, through my career, I've come to the realization that is exactly where it's at. It's within me. So if I could give you any words of encouragement, um, start where you're at. You know, look within yourself. What do you have? What tools do you have to move forward? Even if it's just a thought, mm -hmm. start with the way you think mm -hmm. and move forward. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, now that's